Okay, I just realized that I didn't do what didn't work on my Logitech uh, C260 uh, using GUVC. Uh, I won't go that far. Just this Logitech GUVC Fit 60 in Ubuntu 10.04 with a HP E Light 7100 Mini Tower. Okay, uh, to start with, um, if you use the uh, the um, the program called Cheese, you'll get a fairly good looking video capture. Um, you won't get any sound, as far as I know. Um, it may be have it may have uh, Dev Audio Zero hard coded in there, and then was switched over to um, up. <laughs> when we switched over to. Uh, HW colon one comma zero. It lost its ability to capture audio. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. That's my guess. All I know is I probably should stick with what I know. Um, so I'm already making mistakes on these things, but the deal is, is that um, with cheese you get video, no audio. If you use VLC, you'll. It's not apparent to me. How to change the video settings in there. Um, it probably isn't straightforward and when the video is captured it will be, it was for me, fuzzy but the audio worked. But the audio only worked if I used for the audio device HW colon 1 comma 0 and for video dev video 0 after running the commands I did in the last video. For a GUVC viewer, the only way uh, at first it'll come out, it'll appear that you have a clear picture and good audio, but you should be careful to pick settings that will um, result in having audio and video in sync. So on mine, when I use the the uh, the video format for AVI. Um, and wherever I was, it was out of sync. The another thing that went wrong is YouTube has a, a limit on the length of video you can upload, which is 15 minutes. And so whenever I go over 15 minutes, I regret it and wish that I had a timer in GUVC Viewer. That way I could know how close I am to the 15 minutes and, and, and stop. Um, There are some tools to be able to break these AVI formatted uh, video files into parts. One is called Mencoder, and then there's an FFMPEG command that you can find if you search Google for those. But the um, I found that the the Mencoder command for me. And I should do it justice by saying what version of Mencoder I was using. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell that. Maybe from the Ubuntu Software Center. I'm going to look right now. With Mencoder version, hopefully they have it at the bottom here, 2.1. No, 2 colon 1.0 tilde release candidate through RC3 plus SVN 2009-0426 slash when Ubuntu 16 plus Metabentu 1. When I used that, I could use the um, in position com END POS command as a part of splitting the video and I can, you know, so I would cut it off 15 minutes and the first 15 minutes would, would splice correctly. But the second half of that after the first 15, 15 minutes would not splice correctly. Actually I'm going to retract that. That's when I was in Linux Mint. That's what happened. I don't know why. I've gone, in an earlier video I went through all the different codecs that I have in here. I know I have mPlayer installed. And actually I'm going to say that in Ubuntu it worked. But I was surprised that it didn't while I was in uh, Linux Mint 
9, which I think might even be the equivalent. Yeah, it was, I, I remember looking at this, it was um, based on the Debian, Debian release squeak. Why don't I just look? I don't want to take too much time here. Go in because it's the same. Th this uh, a bunch of ten oh four has the same Debian version or whatever release version or I think it's the it, I, I looked at etc Debian version. I think yes etc Debian underscore version has it as squeeze slash SID here, and I guess I yeah I could probably access my uh, Linux Mint partition. Oh no. I'll do that on another report. <laughs> trying to trying to access some of my partitions isn't working, but I'm not going to cloud the waters here. Um, okay, that that that's it. So the jury is out as to the cause of why MinCoder didn't work in Linux Mint, but it did here. It could be a bug a bug that's already been fixed. Uh, it could be a combination of my codecs. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I, I don't know. And right now, my desktop environment that I'm in is KDE 3, whereas over in Linux Mint, it was in GNOME, but I doubt that would have any impact. This should be the end of my report. This is the, these are the things that went wrong. One more thing. When it was in Linux Mint, <laughs> this, is, this actually isn't really fair, but it could happen in Ubuntu, I guess. Um, I tr because I couldn't um, get the last half of my videos to be decoded with the mencoder, I tried FFMPG. I tried the command for that. And what ended up happening is is that, say, my, um, my videos would get really large when I would use the AVI format. I haven't checked to see how large they are here for these, but let's just see. Um, come on. <laughs> I am so uncoordinated that I just... Okay. My first report is 120 megabytes, you know, but I, I, I might have gone on for about 20 minutes on some of these, but they would get up for like 800 megabytes to a gigabyte <coughs> using... Um, the codec combination that I had in, in Linux Mint, which included using the AVI video format, but I may have been using JPEG for the, for the video codec. Well, anyway, under that combination, when I used FFMPEG to split the second half, and I probably should have mentioned that combination when I had the problem with MenCoder, um, Let's see, I wish, I'm probably going to go into Linux Mint and do an accurate one, but I'll say for now that F, FFMPEG would take what I would expect to be maybe a 200 megabyte end of the file, all things being equal, and turn it into like 50 megabytes. And the only thing that really came out was my voice, and then I just had a scrambled screen. And so, because I'd gone over on three or four of my videos, the whole thing was just a waste which is why I want a timer in GUVC Viewer, and I've said that three times so far. <laughs> so, um, that should be it. I can't think of anything else. It seemed that I was able to split the AVI files without a problem. I haven't tried Matroska's, haven't had a need to so far, and if I stop this quickly enough, I won't. So, hope this is helpful.